Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are back as Barrow King, Harrion the Conqueror of House Dustin. <clears throat> Last time we left off, we um created this uh stomach acid yellow kingdom of ours, um empire, I guess. Um it's rather disgusting looking, but you know, what can we do about it? I I didn't mind the uh the like mustard yellow color that we had before that was their like original uh, high lordship like color, but this color is so gross. But anyway, it's like high, it's like a dingy highlighter. But um, yeah, last time we left off, we actually got a um second bloodline from conquering uh the north and forming our own empire. Uh, we do have the kingdom of the north under us too, but um, that is just for the your purposes, like our. Uh, Empire title is, is a titular one now after like a hundred years. I think uh, It can start to uh, Like get the jour land Let me see uh, it says however given time vassal duchy kingdoms can become their de jour vassals making the titular title a proper one I don't know if we'll even be playing by the time that's even possible. Um, I really want to update my Game of Thrones mod so I can Play with the new mechanics that they have on the new one because they have like the reform religions. I really like to play uh, Beyond the Wall and like reform the Beyond the Wall old gods or something like that. Um, I'm really thinking about me playing Skagos, which would be pretty uh, <laughs> would be a task in itself because they their holdings up here suck. But uh, yeah, so what happened? We were I was worried about this whole peasant taking over three of the provinces in this du jour realm of ours. So since I guess he's a peasant leader and he's taking these over, one we could try to annex him, which I'm not going to do because I want Winterfell for myself. And I guess now, like, we can make these du jour claims for these for ourselves because there should be star. Yeah, she should still have, but she's not under us. So there's nobody in our kingdom that has du jour for that land. So, by us being able to do this, he's not going to become a vassal. We'll just take Winterfell. Now, that sucks for these two, because then we'd have to wait either for a truce or, or something. So, we're going to take Winterfell, like, pretty much right now. Uh, just so we can have it. And then, these other guys, like, he has the High Lordship of Winterfell, which is under her. So, I can't du jour her for... I can du jour her for that, but it's only going to get that. Um, I can force vassalize her, which I might do just to get it all done. Uh, but then again, I don't think I really have to because she has the North clans. That'll take care of all that. The only land she'll have left is that. And I think, I don't know, because she still has that kingdom title. I think it's still going to cost me 2500 which kind of sucks. Um, we can't force vassalize this guy. But it doesn't matter anyways. Anyway, somebody has a claim on uh, Dawn Forest in our realm so we can get that taken care of too. Down here though, which I noticed looking around, we actually can force vassalize our kingdom neighbors now because we're an empire. So I might try to do some of that. I really want to take out the, the muds. I don't really want to make them a vassal per se. I, I kind of want to just like get rid of them. <laughs> uh, or try to like knock out the old uh first men like juggernauts like the fishers are one from the uh, from the histories or whatever but we do have uh we're like kind of related to them because we had a married i think a dustin too i think it was him one of these people got married in there somehow but anyways we need to get our uh heirs heirs uh betrothed now that we're an empire we have a lot better pickings so I was looking through some of them. Uh, I thought about her, but the Stormlands goes back and forth between uh, Duradon so many times. It's like you don't know who's going to have what. And right now, she has a tyranny war where everybody in her realm is against her. Except for him, him, and him. Uh, I think even these guys are. Or did they break away? I think they might have broke away. Cause they were underneath the uh, Stormlands. Oh, there it is. No, he's on her side. So I guess he is uh, still under her. He's just in that one war, I assume. I don't know. But they were allowed to keep their royal style, which kind of—that's what causes those kind of problems. So that's why I don't let people keep them. 
Um, but I do want to eventually go after the Reach here because there is somebody that um, one of our relatives is married to or going to be married to that has that claim to the uh, Reach. Let me see if it'll show up. Somebody has it. Yeah, her. Uh, she is the daughter of our heir. So if we eventually take the Reach, we can take, give it to her, and then if they have a kid... And is it going to be the ones he already has, which kind of sucks. But if they have a kid, at least that Dustin will have control of the reach. Even though it's not under us. So let's go ahead and get him. Uh, I forget who it was. Oh, Darklands. That's right. There's a quick Darkland girl down here that's 10. She already has claim on the Dustlands. So that would be good. So their kid could get that too. So we're going to get them. And uh, he doesn't really have too many men right now for some reason. I don't know what happened. But he has gotten the uh, God's Eye, which is... A good little uh little thing on land there so then we got our uh giant quick boy here we're gonna give him or give uh this bella freaking bastard lannister just in case we need a uh strong ally if we go for the reach here shortly so we'll go ahead and go for that it's cool now that we're empire tier like these other empire tier uh kings and queens would be more apt to uh, betroth and marry to us. Oh, the little dwarf. He's the uh, heir to the rock. That sucks. Alright. Anyways. So we'll let those go through. Let's go down Paul's. We're going to take out this guy first. And then we're going to swipe up here and take her out. They shouldn't take much time. The war is ended. Do you wish you were appointing your own council? Sure. I think that already happened. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> Alright. There, he's the Lord Commander of the Wall. As you can see, our dad is uh, the heir apparent here. He's the expected successor. Uh, it's between him and Ulf Volmark. I think that uh, they would pick him over an Ironborn. Because he's Drowned God. Uh, and our dad's better. Our dad's got cancer, so he might not live too long. Uh, so I want to see him. And we have this other threat here for us to talk about. He has finally put together all the Behind the Wall. I'm trying to find a way that I can bash heads with him. If I take this land, I might be able to uh, have a cast his belly on something or get a claim on it. Since now we don't really need to claim uh, anything in the north for ourselves. I'm thinking after I, uh, his thing can be moved, we're trying to move him up here and see if there's something we can do. Or if our heir can claim that all as a kingdom, I don't see why not. Uh, I think they're considered the same realm. Uh, as I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, this kid's good at Marshall, so we'll give it to her. Get you a uh, garden here. Guess we'll let Gerald do it. All right. Um, we don't need a designated uh, heir title. We already have that. I guess he's the only one we can negotiate annexation with. But like I said, I want that for myself. Um, we do have a lot of claims in the reach. See, like that, we can board, but it's 2,500 every time. It's a lot. And I'm hoping maybe he gets a thousand uh, prestige where he dies. Maybe we can make another bloodline if possible. Somebody that has the uh, arm would uh, claim too, so we'll see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and um, wait for these things to come in. I don't know what's taking them so long. Uh, our wife is pregnant. That's good. Man, this guy is getting mad, uh, extra attacks. What is up with this, man? Where is, uh, let me see. I'm just gonna do this dumb shit again. I think it is. God damn it. It did this last a couple times before where, uh, I tried to marry, like, my grandkids. And see, now I can't do it. I oh, know that's Manfred. Why is it not letting me do it? Let's try again. We'll let him go first, see if it comes up. I've been reading the legends, and it claims that death is not something a true believer should be afraid of. So, we get a chance to get stressed, and we'll lose Roth. Um, what is there an afterlife, though? <laughs> what if there is an afterlife? I guess either one, you're still gonna lose. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Um, there's attacked by armed thugs. That sucks. Hey, it's not letting me do it. 
Let me try, uh... I don't know why, like, we have the, uh, ability to... Alright. Now it did. But it didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. Alright, and what about you? Alright, yours still didn't happen. So let's go ahead and try you again. Hopefully this time it'll happen. There we go. Alright, so they went through. I don't know why we were informed on it, but... Oh well. We'll go ahead and, uh... I'm pretty sure that somebody's gonna try to take this from him. In our realm anyways. It looks like... Why has he got troops raised? I don't know what he's doing. Or is it her? No. Alright. Let's go ahead and take Winterfell for ourselves. Uh, we're not gonna need anybody's help for this, hopefully. I don't think anybody will come to his aid from outside of our realm. Let me see if, uh, if I'm able to... Non-aggression. Damn, she don't like us at all. They're gonna have to start swaying her. Um, and then the Dust Clan one. He doesn't really have any men, but I'm gonna help keep his kingdom. But this shouldn't matter, because I think that she'll, uh... He doesn't like me either. Damn. Alright, well, we'll worry about the rock now, but let's go ahead and do this. As time goes by, she might change her tune. Let's go ahead and do this. We do have Basil's ah, levies raised to them, but it's not that big of a deal. We have 20,000 men. Barrowlands are a state of war. We send ravens to great lords, rallying them to the crown's defense. They should help, hopefully. Uh, why are you... Why is this guy... This doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's his troops. Okay. I was wondering why his troops were... Even though, why was his troops raised in the first place? Um, we'll go ahead and just raise up the uh, vassals. It's gonna suck because I think I need to... Where's the obligation? Alright, it's still there. I'm wondering if I should just bump it up now. Because they're going to probably ask me to, to narrow it down. Let me see here. This one we get vassal tax of 10%. I really don't want to mess with the, the tax though. I'll just leave it alone in case I got to put it back. Alright. Let's do what we always do here. Let's go drop these guys. Raise them up here. You guys are just going to have to come from where you are. Actually... Let's drop you, bring you on the other side of the Mokalen. Okay, Alright, there you go up there. We're gonna go to Spearmouth. Hopefully no uh ironborn come while we're doing this. Let's drop you, raise you here. I should probably make him come there, but he's gonna probably try to attack one of these guys. Alright, let's do the same with you, let's drop you raise you here at least this might offset it if he uh tries to do that bring you guys down here all right your men you have land where do you have land over here there don't you have land down here somewhere could have swore she did i probably should give her whitford but that that girl's got two uh holdings i really don't want to do that it'd be different if it was one okay let's go ahead and just drop Drop them and raise them closer. Let's just raise them here. Actually, let's probably just put those guys together up here. We'll figure it out. Alright. He has a uh, bent spawn troops, I think. That must be them. Yeah, that's them. So he hasn't raised his troops yet. So I think we should just keep hers there because he might attack them. We'll have them come down here. Because he's going to try to go for these guys, probably. Maybe over there. I might give her over... Oh, hey, she's already under him. Is there any of these that are under us that we should give back? I don't think there is. Uh, let's drop you. Bring you a little closer. Alright, uh, bring them down to Dreadfort. He's actually has ships, which is good. So we should have got, like, maybe 15, 20 now. We have to have 24, so that's good. Alright, we're not going to... As for our, uh, I'm actually going to bring him over. We're not going to ask for, um, our ally to help us. I don't think we need it. So, we can start moving now. He's going to go after one of them. Unless he's going to, oh yeah, he's putting all his troops there. So, he might go after them. 
He can't go straight to there, so at least that's good. But I don't know if he'd make it here before they'd make it here. Torn Square, it'll be 11th moon, so he's got over a month. And his guys have full morale, which is kind of worrisome. I wondered if I shouldn't just drop them. Hey, wait, so we all form up here, then do it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop him. Because I have a feeling he's gonna try to attack him, and I think he'll get there before they can get there. Alright, um, they're going there. Alright, everything's fine so far. So he's going up towards them, so. Hopefully, they're gonna make it to the Dreadfort. Lady Jane the Rails use a fair for Lady Arsa Downcast to join all factions. Good. She's in Crown Loyalists. Damn. They completely dropped. I think it was full. Oh, whatever. Alright. Yeah, he's coming towards the Dreadfort. Let's get them out of here. These guys are going that way. I think they can go straight through there. So, you're already going there. So, let me go this way and keep down through there. You're already in this there, so I'll have you go straight through. You're already there, so I'll have you go straight through. Alright. Seems the shell of Crow's Nest, the spy master Lord Theo Beral has been sent to Beral to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe she should be shut uh, silenced before she finds out about my plot to kill Lord Commander Osman of the Night's Watch. Now, I don't think he's the best fit for to be our uh, defenders against the uh, menace plaguing us past the wall so I really think our dad would should be better uh, would be better fit for that 33% plot is revealed we get a 60% chance she dies hmm I guess we'll try to kill her good it worked I don't want my plot being found out how good is this plot right now 126 is there anybody else we can add to it no let's make sure he's still the heir apparent. All right. Let's. Somebody's trying to kill me. I think. But at, while we're out on uh, leading troops, I think we'll be all right. Let me see. Yeah, somebody's still trying to kill me. I don't know who it is. Um. So I'm really t hesitant to put my spy master at the wall, but I'd rather have the plot power here. We have a good air if we get killed, so be it. Alright. Can't move him yet, so. Prince Aethos of the Barrowlands, he's a favorite of Lord Hoster. Oh, great. So now he's gonna be in the Deposed, the Barrow King uh, faction. Everybody's moving. Alright. Archon Murano of Illyria accepted Archon Aemon, son of the demon's peace offer. Good for him. And. She bloody with one eye. It's a bad bitch. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's put us back on troops so nobody tries to kill us. Uh, we're a direct leader. Um, we'll have Gerald, I guess, on the one side. He's been our like go-to man. Um, Pyron of Tudbury Hall. Hmm. Yeah, Megger has become Craven. I don't know what happened, but he is craven. Harry's good, man, but I think the brilliant commander would be better suited over stats. Alright, you guys are all going down there. Who's the one going uh, past there? I think I have her right. Yeah, that's how you stop there. Alright. And then we'll just have them go this way, I guess. Matter of fact, we'll have them start go that way. You, instead of going there, curl up. You keep going that way. You guys will keep that way. Go that way. Alright, you're in this there. What happens if I do that? Alright, you'll just cut through there. Okay. That way they'll be closer together. He's probably gonna see you just down, but who cares. Uh, I've been instructing young Tymon in the ways of sword and lance and requested. I am pleased to say he appears a natural. His martial prowess has improved greatly over recent weeks. Nice. 11 years old, skilled fighter. See, he's got such a good uh, probability of improving prowess 
which is uh, negative is only 1.82, so it's pretty much a given. Then again, I'm not going to say that because that's the kind of shit that ends up happening. Alright, everybody is going there. So why is going? Well, Alright. You guys are going up here. Let's have you guys go that way. I'll have you come to there and then head that way. Whoa. And then go that way. Alright. Iron King Cotter, the legless. <laughs> Uh, set the queen lithine of the rocks peace offer damn she busted him down bad he's only got 2,000 troops now a dishonorable possessed lunatic with one leg craven <laughs> what else can you be all right she's pregnant Bell oh come on they did it again man <sighs> why does this keep happening it just takes them away from the whoever they're betrothed to. I don't understand it. It's, it did this before when I gave somebody Mo, the heir Mo Kalen and I tried to have their kids married off. I don't know why it does this. There's like these little glitches that give you such a fucking headache in this game. Alright, um, everybody's going there. We're almost ready to go take him out we'll go uh, take him out i really don't want to siege winterfell because i don't want it to because i think it's going to have even more of a new administration added to it because it was already in a new administration i don't know if that's how it works or not she's trying to vassalize blackwater rush now all right we got enough troops let's go after him yeah, gerald now belgrave's over here Actually, Belgrave is a flanker. He's one less marshal, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. This guy has nothing but, like, light infantry, too. So, when are they going to get here? One more day. All right. We'll go up this way. You guys head that way. We'll just have them come that way. And then, you guys are already there. So, come across and meet us, I guess. At least go that direction. The lines between Prince Edric and Lord Sumner has broken down. Damn, he died. Oh, my only ally. Oh, well, this Tweedledum here should go for it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Who is he married to? Our half sister. Oh shit! I forgot. Um, where the hell is she at? I want her siblings to come with us. I think she's not married, right? No. Well, she is our niece. I guess we'll bring her back. I don't want her with. I don't want them with her. He's actually. Where's the one at? He's not that bad, so he could maybe be a treasurer or something. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, legitimize them or not. Let's see. All right, they're still there, so hopefully, stays there. He's still alive. How's this plot going? 128. Alright. I, I only had to pay for one of those people, too. The rest were all willing to take him out for some reason. Alright. So she's coming. He's coming. Uh, you're under attack. That's fine. Not my problem. Oh, we had another son. He's a giant, but he's sickly. Giant gives you health, but no, it doesn't, damn. Oh, that sucks. Alright, um, we'll wait and see what happens. Benjakot, that's a fine name. Hopefully our, how's our maester? I think our maester sucks. He's not bad, I guess. Uh, hopefully he, uh, will take care of him, giving him a second chance at life. We don't have any spots to give anybody. King Ned Hill has usurped the title Castle Greenmont from Lady Tanessa Tumble. King Ned Hill? Oh, he's married to her, that's why. I was like, what? He has Krakow. Hold on a second. He just took it from her. Uh, how do you even do that? Is he. Uh, his dad is a damn Krakow. And we can't get a friggin' alliance with him. Now she has no men. There goes that. 
An advisor group, my bannerman, led by Lord Walter Footley Hall of Tumbleton, I hereby relinquish my position as Lady Craig Hall, Lady of Craig Hall, in favor of Ned Hill, son of a bitch. Master Willem is worried about my newborn son. Benjakot is a feeble little thing, and even compared to other infants, Willem says he might, might not live to see his first birthday. You have to attempt to save my Benjakot. Alright, who's this? Laurel Snow. What are you good at? I guess. Diplomacy. It doesn't really matter with the girls, because you can't even really use them anyways. Um, I'll just let this bitch. Alright. You guys can take this, so I'm just going to leave you there. I'll put peak on it. Uh, we'll let you guys go help them, and then you guys can help them. Alright. We're going to take them on. Hopefully we get a decent amount. Alright. While little Benji Cutso appears slightly weaker than other children his age, I swear he is much more energetic than he was a couple weeks ago. He might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. So he's gotten plus one health, so that's good. He's a giant, so kind of thinking uh, we give him struggle. Maybe he'll be a good fighter. All right, um, you want to marry? Who's this? You're a queen of the coastland. You're an Andal. We don't mingle with Andal scum. Even though she'd probably be a good ally. I don't think she probably has ships to get here anyways. Alright. Um, tax revenue. Damn. He just keeps bringing it. Oh, this is the hand of the king. That's the one I got to get that uh, empire. They get a lot more, I guess, for some reason. Than the Lord Treasure. They didn't have any commanders. That was stupid. Alright, um, it's only, it gave me 51, so that's good. If I siege down Winterfell, it should be enough. We have to keep track that he doesn't send, uh, men that way. Let's put Gwen there. There's somebody better than Allard. Pyron. I think it's better. We'll put Pyron. And then we got ours. Alright. Winterfell's gonna take a little bit of time, probably. Oh no, it doesn't have much, uh, fort level. Lord Ambrose Priest Hater has declared war against the tyranny of King Gaston a strong song. I'm really thinking about taking him out. Uh, because this guy is under him. I think they're not. I think the Paps might be. I thought the Paps were under him. See, they don't have the, uh... Oh, yeah, it does. 15 fort level. I thought it, maybe it wouldn't because it wasn't really the eerie yet. Because some of them are their, like, uh, earlier counterparts. What's going on here? He is Whitford, Winterfeld, Border Dispute War. So Whitford's trying to take, uh, King's Course. So that would help a lot if she can get that. But she's actually going against her as a whole. She probably has more men than she does. Uh, eh, a little bit. She got a little bit more, but... She might be able to pull it off. If she can take him out and then siege us down, what it looks like she's going to do. My Barrow King here, no. He, you want me to help you from my vassal taking him land? No. Don't think so. Benjakot of Ashmark has been a legal and able servant. Who are you? Master Coin. Definitely not going to give you land. I guess I'll give you money. We're making a little bit more money now, at least. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Jared Will. Hmm. What are you good at? I guess intrigue. No, you got diplomacy. Yeah, a lot of these kids will end up growing up and being able to be your advisors, counsel, whatever. So it's kind of smart to give them a uh, good education because they pay off later. A lot of people always say, like, oh, what are you, what's the big deal of giving them? Well, hold on. Who is this? This is his men. Why are they way up there? Did they go all the way up there when they retreated? They must have. Uh, I don't care about dragons. Alright, let's go ahead and keep sieging this down. Alright, she took him out, I think. So, what's the score here? I want to keep track on this. Ah, shit. She has other people coming to help. Acorn Ridge and Eastwold. If it comes down to it, I might just, uh... You know what? I don't want to waste a Cass's belly on that. And I think it would make me the... Well, I can't even help, I don't think. 
all for to join war. Uh, maybe I could after. I don't know. Who is this? Our priest. Um. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper just to give you a noble title. So we'll do that. Alright. Damn it! I knew this was. Oh, 30 gold? Yeah, you can have that. I knew they were gonna ask me for a tax concession. But if I'd have changed the law, I guarantee you they wouldn't have. That's how it works. Tanessa Craycall has had an ingredient added. She has intestines all of a sudden. She has a little bit more men now. It's not that bad. She's still a high lord of Tumbleton. Uh, my king, using my powers as lord regent of Tumbleton, and, and with agreement of the council, I hereby decree that Tanessa Craycall be deposed in favor of Lord Walter of Footley Hall. What? So, are you not... What the hell? Maybe she had another, uh, high lordship or something. I think she might. No, she had Craig on Tumbleton. That's all she had. I don't know. I don't care. Alright. We're probably gonna have to hit him again. He's coming to Kerwin. He might try to go after them, so let's bring them up here instead. And then we'll circle down. We'll just have them come around. He's probably gonna try to hit them. We'll probably just keep them all together. I think we'll be alright. Uh, rejoice winter's coming to end good. How many men do we have now? 14,000. Alright. Third Valerian slave raid. Hopefully we can get, he's probably gonna get that before we get Winterfell, so. Um, damn, everybody wants a damn reward now. All that once. Queen Lythene has secluded herself with the rest of her court in Castle Rock, presumably biding their time while disease lingers in the countryside of the realm. It will not be possible to reach her for some time, my counsel informs me, so we'll have to swear her at some other point. Is there a disease or they had a great plague? We have been pretty that's the one thing about the north, you don't really get a lot of uh a lot of disease up here. I guess because of cold or something. Uh yeah, this doesn't have anything to do with us. What is going on with this shit? What is going on with this plot? Uh Warren's winter coming to an end in Barrowton. I don't know why this hasn't even fired once. He's 8%. Uh, 16, 3. 3. Let's get that 16 guy. It'll cost us money, but it will. Alright. That'll make it a little more. And the other guy was, what, like 8? I'll wait. Alright. Uh, everything's cool. Is he in hiding or something? No. Oh, hold on, what? He's a little kid. Why is there a kid that's in air? This doesn't make any sense. I think my dad died. Hey, he did die. Oh, uh, there's no point in doing this anymore. I just wasted 15 gold. Alright, well, let's stop that. Damn, I didn't even get anything telling me that he died. When did he die? Uh, 353. Hold on, the seventh moon. It was like half a year ago. I guess when they go to the wall, they have their family left, so I guess you don't need to inform the family that he died. Alright, when just come to an end in the fever. Let's go ahead and raise the time up so we can get done this siege. He's gonna stay there like a good boy. How's hers going real quick? Um, She's still winning, but it ain't gonna last long. We got a lot of people up here. I don't know why. But uh, she's going up there to siege that. That's good. Uh, strong song is one. It takes a while to siege on Winterfell. Even though it's only eight port level, it's really not that extreme. Like it's not like going to Cashley Rock or uh, the Erie for that. Um, what do you want? Propose that. At least that's your heir. Oh, he's fourteen. They're the Redfords. They'd be pretty good ally, I guess, since we lost, kind of lost Craig Hole. Alright, I'll go with that. She's my niece. I don't think we'll get anything, though. Oh, we can. So maybe we'll sway him until we can get back to swaying uh, the Lannister girl. It's taking longer than I thought. He's gonna go back to that, which is fun. Alright. Oh, he took that quick. Alright, we finally got Winterfell. Nice, he was there. What a dick. Uh, let's go ahead and take the whole family. And we can end this. 
Uh, does he have any money? He's, he's only worth 70 gold. Let me see if I ransom him how much war score. I think I'd still have enough. Yeah, occupation and battle, I would still have 100. So we're going to ransom him for the money first. Because he'll let he'll be able to get away. Let's ransom him for 70 gold. Okay, and now I will call the war. <laughs> Actually, that's, does he have an heir? Ah, she's a bastard. Damn, he doesn't have enough for that. He's one gold off, but he's not making any money, so... Let's just call it. Alright. So now, we've usurped the lordship of Winterfell. Winterfell is hundred. Alright, so now Winterfell is ours. Now, the question is, do we make it the capital? Now, it's only one year for new administration, so we got away with that. And recently conquered. Nice. And we didn't take out any of these. Winterfell though hasn't even had flourishing yet. That's the thing. Like, we're we're at booming down there. All right. What is this? Master of Laws. Yeah, that's right. I need to change him. Um, we don't need to put nothing here. We can take all that at once. Uh, this guy, we can take both of those. Um, thinking maybe we move him up here and see if we can get the claim on uh stuff up here and then that way we can start because i want to kind of unite all of the north beyond the wall and before the wall i guess you would say let's go ahead and put him up here we can go up there so why not and hardham's the best province up here it's the only one that has like more than two holdings or most of them only have one all right so yeah i'm up in the, in the comments uh what should we do? Should we make Winterfell the capital? I know a lot of people want it to be the capital. Or should we keep Barrowton? Barrowton is the home of the original Barrow Kings. This is where the Barrows are. That the uh, supposed uh, first king of the first men is buried. So it has some, um, you know, has some thing, something to the, to the Dustins. So it isn't just, you know, that's just where they're living at. So... We either want to have Barrowton or Winterfell. So leave it in a comment. What do you think we should do? And not just, oh, have Winterfell. If you have a good reason why, I would like to hear that too. But if not, just pick one or the other. So until then, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.